Hey friends! Welcome to my channel, welcome back if you're an old friend. My name is Desiree, aka Mama Friendly, and I do all kinds of videos on this channel. I do vlogs, planner videos, cook with me videos, hauls and try-ons like you're about to see, all sorts of things everything really. So if any of these things sound like fun to you, I hope that you'll subscribe, come on back, join me on my little YouTube adventure. So as I said, today's video is a haul slash try on. It's my second Stitch Fix of this term, I guess, because I did do Stitch Fix many, many years ago. I was not impressed. If you'd like to see that original fix, I'll post the link to that up here. In the last couple of years, I've done a lot of Dia & Co unboxings. And if you look up here throughout the video, you're gonna find more of those types of videos, probably a playlist, etc. So keep your eyes peeled. But with things like Dia & Co, Stitch Fix, obviously plus size fashion has come a long way in the last few years. The industry is kind of, sort of waking up to the fact that plus size people make up a big share of the market for lack of a better term. And we have the money to spend, we wanna spend the money. So if they provide the options, we will provide the sale. Now I love these subscription boxes because you can choose some items, but some of them are a surprise. So you can kind of step outside your comfort zone without just running all the way out if that's not your thing. There's codes all over the place to get your first one for free. Case in point, I have a link or maybe it's a code. Either way, it'll be in the description box of this video so you can get your first Stitch Fix for free or your first Dienko box for free. I'll link both in case you wanna try both, either or, whatever. But the idea behind these types of boxes is you typically do a quiz when you first start out so that they could find out your sense of style, the places you want to use these clothes, like maybe you're looking for more business attire, maybe you're looking for more casual or date night type stuff, etc. They also find out your measurements and your sizes and your preferences for the type of clothes you want to wear and how you want them to feel on you. So if you prefer maybe looser tops, if you prefer to show your midriff or not at all, or show your arms or not at all, all of those things are covered in the style quiz so they can get to know you and what clothes are going to suit you best or suit your likes best. And then every month, every two months, your choice, they send you a box typically with five items. You try it on, you keep what you like, you send back what you don't. In in the case of both Stitch Fix and Dia & Co, the styling fee is used as a credit towards whatever item or items you keep. And if you keep the entire box, you get a percentage discount off the whole thing plus the credit. So keeping everything is the cheapest way to go, but it's not the only option. You can keep nothing at all. You could keep one item, two items, whatever, and you send whatever you don't want back in the prepaid envelope. That's all part of the styling fee. So it's a lot of fun. Even if you keep nothing, it's a small fee and <laughs> you get to break up the monotony of your day by trying on a bunch of fun clothes that you otherwise wouldn't have even thought to pick for yourself. Now, the way I do these videos is I like to tell you first off, I am a 14, 16 on top. That's either an XXL or a 1X or a 1 if you shop at Torrid. And for bottoms, I'm an 18, 20, closer to 20 these days. And that's either a 2 or a 2X, depending on where you shop. I tell you that because I'm also gonna tell you the size of the clothes. And that way you can see not only what they look like on a body like mine, which perhaps is like a body like yours, but also so you can see how true to size they run. I've found that most things I've tried from both Stitch Fix and Dia are true to size, but I do like to let you know in case I come across something that doesn't really fit, so to speak. I also like to show you the clothing first, then try them on, and only after that do I tell you how much they cost, more so for myself than for you all, because a lot of times, a piece of clothing might be more expensive than I would like to pay for it, but maybe once I have it on and I see that it's very flattering or I see that I really like how it feels on or whatever the case may be, I say to myself, okay, so because I feel so great in it, the price might be worth it. Let's consider this an investment or it's a very versatile piece. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So the price is worth it, etc. Whereas if I saw the price first before I even tried the thing on, I might not give it a fair shake. That was a lot of talking, so now <laughs> let's actually show you what came in the box. I have the box here open in front of me, but I haven't actually looked at the things yet. So I'm going to uh, discover them right along with you. And Stitch Fix likes to send you a little envelope 
where they show you what came in the box and also kind of different ways that they think you could style it. There's also a note from your stylist and of course the invoice. So are you, yes, this is the invoice. So I'm gonna put this back for now. And then what I don't like about Stitch Fix is that both the, this is what's in your box and the letter from the stylist are on the same piece of um, cardstock, I guess. So it's hard to keep the clothing a surprise, but I'm gonna kind of fold this up here and uh, do my best. So my letter says, hello Desiree and happy fix day. I'm sorry to see that your last fix was overall a miss. Kind of was, if you wanna see that, I'll post that up here. But I'm glad to see that we hit the mark on your style and I hope that this batch of styles is just as you as the last one while fixing the price point. For this fix, I made sure to pull pieces that reflect the lowest prices in each category so you can get a better feel for what we carry here at Stitch Fix. How does this price range feel? I don't know because I haven't seen the invoice yet, but I'll let you know, trust. I noticed you didn't get a chance to preview your items in today's fix before I headed your way. No, I didn't. That's another thing. With Stitch Fix, you get to preview what they're sending you so that you can deny stuff if you know for sure you're not gonna like it and they'll send something else in its place. I like this because it ups the chance of you liking the things that you're receiving, but it also takes away from some of the surprise and mystery factor. Honestly, this time around, I just forgot that that was even an option, so I didn't go in there and do it. So everything in here is completely a surprise. I don't think I chose anything in this box, so. No worries, I used your profile, feedback, and fix history to pull together a box of pieces that you'll have fun trying out. Since you mentioned that you prefer to skip sleeveless pieces, yes, I kept with sleeved options in this fix, and I can't wait to hear more of your great feedback. Best, Kylie. Kylie, Kaylee, I think it's Kylie. Okay, so there's that. And this is an advertisement to shop on their situation. This is the invoice, like I said, so I'm gonna set that aside. And here is my bulto, my package of clothes. And oh, something fell out of it, okay. And then all the way at the bottom, we have our priority mail bag for when we send everything back. So here's everything that came in the box this time around. I'm gonna put it down so we can go piece by piece. I really like the pattern on this. Ooh, and I really like the sleeves. I was worried that there were ruffles, but no, it's like a half sleeve or three quarter sleeve. I guess I'll find out when I put it on. But this is like a nice silky feeling shirt. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit sheer. So that's not my favorite, but it does feel very light and blousey. It's got a button detail at the front and it also has a little tie front at the bottom. I don't typically love that because I prefer to hide the BBL or what is it? VBL, the visible belly line. So um, like if nobody knows I have it, but whatever. It's just like an insecurity thing of mine that I've been doing since I was itty bitty, which is horrible. But anyways, this is a size XXL. It's called the West K Key. It's spelled K-E-I. Talina tie front blouse in orange. So again, XXL and um, let's put this aside so we'll try it on a little bit. Next thing we have here appears to be another blouse. Yes, maybe? No, it's like an open sort of kimono cardigan type thing. It says Mason and Bell, that's the brand, Laria crochet trim open front woven in 1X. So the other one was an XXL, this is a 1X. Typically XXL denotes that it's a straight size option, whereas 1X, 2X denotes that it's plus size or women sizes. Obviously this is all meant to fit me anyways, but I'm making that distinction because straight size clothing tends to be cut in a specific shape, whereas plus size clothing is cut with a different shape in mind. So even though they are both 1X, XXL in that same range and they bo both should fit, there's a chance that they're gonna lay differently on the body, etc. So this does have little crochet sleeves, which is nice. This is definitely sheer. It's also that sort of silky kind of feeling material like the blouse was. I really like the color and the pattern is much more cottage core, which is the thing now. So that's pretty. That could be cute with like a black tank maybe or some sort of a tank and like some denim shorts so that that's kind of the statement piece. Speaking of a statement piece, what is this? 
This is a dress, it seems like. Yes, it's like a maxi. Yeah, it is definitely a maxi. It's very long. I love florals on a dark background, but I prefer my florals to be smaller patterns. So these big ass flowers, not sure how I feel about them now. I mean, it's pretty enough, but I guess let's see once it's on my person. This is Love Appella, that's the brand. Tory Knit Maxi Dress in a 2X. Typically for dresses, I wear a 1X, but that's because the dresses that I tend to reach for, I like fitted at the top and then like A-line flare at the bottom so that there's room for the hips and the booty. So I tend to shop for my upper half because the bottom half, considering the styles I like, typically, you know, they're accommodated for already. Um, so this is a 2X. I worry because it's a maxi, I love maxi dresses, don't get me wrong, but I worry because it's a maxi, it's gonna be too long for me. I'm 5'4", so that's something to keep in mind as well. But this is really pretty, so I am looking forward to trying that on. And two more things in here. This feels very soft, like a jersey material, but very, very soft. Market and Spruce, 1X, Elaine Pocket Front Knit Tee. So it's just like a plain, like heather black tee. That's really, really cute, actually. I'm sure it's gonna be more expensive than I'd like to pay for it, but it's definitely my style. It's a plain black tee, and I like the material, the feel of it, so there's that. And lastly, denim shorts. I love shorts, but I typically stick to Bermudas because chub rub is real. And, um, oh, okay, funny enough, this is called the walking short, which makes me think that it is short, but long enough to avoid chub rub while you're walking, I hope. So they're an 18W. Liverpool is the brand. Caden Cuffed Denim Short in Indigo. Yeah, so it doesn't look like Daisy Duke-ish, but I got a lot of butt, and I feel like this is gonna get filled with butt real quick. So it appears to be, I'm gonna guesstimate probably like a five inch inseam. I typically go for like nine. So curious to see how these fit. That's the last item in the box. So the next step is let's try things on, shall we? Oh friends, <laughs> I am growing concerned. Why? Because. I typically like to get these boxes because it's like I said earlier, it's 20 bucks and you know, you get to try things on, have some fun, but I'm not trying to spend loads of money. And I worry based on this first outfit that um, I might, I might spend loads of money this month. So here's the black tee and here are the shorts, which I know I'm short and I know that it's hard to get everything in frame, but I'm trying my best here. I am, so impressed with the feel of these shorts. I am so impressed with the length on them. I really did not expect them to hit where they do. They're slightly shorter than what is usually my comfort zone, but not in a way where I'm like uncomfortable, if that makes sense. They're definitely a good length to avoid chub rub, which is required. And as far as the sizing, I did say it's an 18W and I did say that these days I'm closer to a 20. So they fit, they close fine, they're good. I feel a little tiny, not huge amounts. Who else would do this on camera for the internet? Not huge amounts of like spillage or muffin topping, but enough, enough where I can tell that it's happening. So depending on the price, because I am actually thinking I might keep these, depending on the price, what I might actually do is exchange these and size up to a 20 if they're available, but I really like how these fit. I'm really liking these shorts. And then the t-shirt, again, it's a plain black t-shirt. I like the sleeve length. I like the length itself. I like how it fits on the body. I love the color because it's black, but because it's like a heather black, it's not super harsh. Perfect, perfect t-shirt. So yeah, <laughs> I'm really, really liking this outfit. And actually I did say that this would go good with like a black tank or black something. So let's go ahead and put this on as well while we're here. Oh my gosh, my hair's caught in the tag. All right, so there's this. I went through a phase like three summers ago maybe where everything I wore all day, every day, 
wear these kimono type things with a tank top and Bermuda shorts. And I called it my Jurassic Park Wrangler look because I literally looked like a zookeeper. But I loved it. It was the most comfortable thing and I legit spent all summer in some version of that outfit of those three pieces. I don't love this one though. The crochet is cute, but I feel like between the crochet and the pattern, it feels very matronly. It feels a little too old for me. Now, full disclosure, I am in my mid thirties and um, I do, not gonna lie, I dress younger than my age probably. I think that's like an elder millennial thing, but just because I am older doesn't mean I want to look older or dress older. So this is cute for like an on the rack type thing, but on my body, not my favorite. So now that we have tried things on, let's go ahead and find that invoice and let's see what we're working with here because I do really like these shorts and this shirt. I didn't see what each individual thing just cost, but I just saw the costs and that hurt my insides a little bit. So let's find, okay. Center yourself, Desiree. So Liverpool, Caden cuffed denim short and indigo, 18W. The shorts are $58 ouch um <laughs> with the $20 styling fee credit towards them they'd come out to 38 and that's doable the way I always look at it is those 20 bucks are gone so yes it is still a $58 short but it's either I pay 38 and come away with shorts or I don't at all and then I just lost 20 bucks which I didn't lose and I'm getting the experience etc but you know what I mean so the shorts are 58 bucks the Crocheted thing, the maxi, no, not maxi. Crocheted something or other. It doesn't say the whole name of it here either. Mason and Bell Laria crochet trim open front in mint. It's a 1X and it's $44. I guess that's fine compared to like, you know, Lane Bryant prices. It's about the same as what you'd expect to pay there. Um, I don't love it anyways, so that's fine. And then this is the Market and Spruce Elaine pocket front knit okay and it's, it just cuts off there in dark gray i was calling it heather black but fine tomato tomato 1x and it's 28 dollars. that's fine i like that i'll gladly pay 28 bucks for this so we're talking 28 for the top and let's say 38 for the shorts that's 70 dollars so far just for this outfit i don't know i really really like it though so yeah i'm deep definitely considering it um honestly what's gonna i think i'm keeping the shirt either way because i really really like it the shorts are going to depend on can i get the exchange because i do think i'd be more comfortable with a size up these fit fine and because they're a stretchier denim i know that if i walked around with them enough they would kind of relax and like fit the way i want them to fit but fit your clothes to the body right so if i'm more comfortable in a 20 then that's what i'm gonna do so we've got, what else? We have this blouse, which I guess I'll try on next. And then we'll save the dress for last because then I can just take off the shorts and do the dress. Hold please. Okay, so here's the other top. It turns out it's not half sleeves at all. They're basically like full sleeves all the way down. I do like that little tie up detail, but there's a lot of gapping with the buttons, which that's already like that's not gonna happen because i feel like if i wore this i'd have to wear a tank or something underneath and that defeats the purpose because i feel like this is meant to be a breezy summertime shirt and that you know it's no longer serving that function if i have to layer it with things um the little tie front thing is fine i thought it was going to be shorter and it's not as short as i expected but the style just overall feels very boxy to me. I feel like it makes my torso feel super short. Um, it's just not flattering. Nothing about this shirt is a win for me. The color, I guess, I don't know. I kind of feel like it washes me out as well. I like the pattern and like this style of pattern, but there's a lot of things stylistically wrong with it that like there's just no saving this as far as I'm concerned. So this is definitely going back. This is the, what are you? West Kai or Key Talina tie front blouse in orange. It's an XXL and it's $44. 
again, if this is the sort of thing you like to wear, I could see this shirt at like Elaine Bryant, for example, for $44. So the price point doesn't shock me. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, if you really like the style and you really like how it looks on you, sure, it's worth it. I don't, <laughs> on both counts. So yeah, definitely going back. So before we move on to talking about the dress, I just wanna say I did need help getting that last blouse off because the way the material was set up, I felt like if I just pulled it off, I was gonna end up like ripping it. So I had my mom kind of peel it off me. And before she did, she was like, that blouse is so pretty. I really hope you're keeping that one over the black one because that is so nice. When I felt like legit the exact opposite. So here's the dress. I really like this. I have zero need for a dress at this time. Um, as far as the maxiness of it, it is touching the floor. Like I would need, I'm sure you guys are not gonna be able to see this now. I'm trying to pick up my feet so you can tell maybe perhaps so you can see it's covering my feet completely and it does the same thing when i stand straight up so this is something that i would either need to get hemmed or i would need to wear very tall shoes with it i lost my ability to wear tall shoes when i had my son i used to wear platforms like this tall no problem and now if i wear anything that's like higher than a wedge i just feel like i'm gonna fall over i also have tendonitis in my ankles it's a whole thing. I wear sneakers everywhere I go because my feet are super screwed up. So tall shoes are not, thank you traffic noise. Tall shoes are not gonna be an option. Sneakers are not gonna be an option with this dress. So unfortunately, yeah. If it was like midi or even knee length, then I would be super down because I love how it fits here. I love a surplus neckline. I love the sleeves and the sleeve length. I love a floral and a dark background. If you've seen any of my Dia videos, you already know this. So this is really, really nice. But the length is kind of a deal breaker and I could get it tailored or hemmed or adjusted or whatever, but depending on the cost, do I really wanna put forth that extra effort and that extra cost to do that? Let's find out. This is the Love Appella Tori Knit Maxi Dress in Black. It's a 2X and it's $78. It's a beautiful dress. I could totally see this dress at Torrid or Lane Bryant or thereabouts for $78 and it would make sense for that store's price point. I don't, hmm, I don't know. I don't think it's worth 78 bucks. And something else that I did mention again, the flowers on the, on the black or like even dark blue, you know, just dark backgrounds generally, I love but I don't love these big ass flowers. If they were more, like if they were smaller and there were more of them, so it would be more scattered throughout. So we wouldn't just have this like big blank spot here. And then this, it just feels very like bleh. And there was no thought to the pattern. They just kind of chucked flowers on there wherever they landed. I don't know, it feels, yeah, like they didn't put very much effort into it and I feel that. So, unfortunately, this is very close to what I would consider a win, but it's not quite there. Maybe it goes against the big girl rules of fashion, like I care, but smaller patterns, please. Also, I really love stripes, especially horizontal stripes, speaking of the big girl uh, rules of fashion. But yeah, this pattern specifically, don't love the cut of the dress, except for the length, Mwah, perfect. So that's gonna do it for this stitch. I'm almost certainly gonna keep that black shirt, even though my mom was like $30 for a t-shirt, that's crazy. And I kind of agree with her, but I just really like how that particular t-shirt fits. And the shorts, if I can get them exchanged to a bigger size, are for sure staying as well. Everything else I was lukewarm about at best, I'm most disappointed about the dress because I really, really do love the cut of the dress. I think especially up here and then the way that it cuts in here and then drops, absolutely beautiful, super flattering. I love the material. I love the idea of the pattern, but it was just too many strikes against it plus that price for me to give it the, the thumbs up. But I am overall more pleased with this stitch than I was with the last one. So we're on the right track. 
What do you guys think? Is there anything that I'm sending back that you think I should keep? Is there anything I'm keeping that you think I should have sent back instead? Let me know in the comments. If you've done Stitch Fix in the past or if you're doing it right now, I'd love to know how you feel about the service. How much do they get you, you know? How likely are you to keep things when you get your box? Because I'm still rather new at this, so I'm still trying to like find out, especially from a plus size perspective, because if you're straight size, I think you know it's a lot easier for you to find options for clothing and you know just it's a it's a whole other world if you're plus size so if you're plus size doing stitch fix let me know how that's gone for you please and as always i want to thank you all so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did i hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up i'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because i post at least three times a week and i wouldn't want you to miss a minute thanks so much again for watching bye